far in Han Tour Season 2. Uh, of course, uh, that being the first six. Denial Esports trying to break that streak as well and uh, trying to make Cycle 7 a little bit different when it's all said and done. But obviously, it is a tough, tough challenge. Game number two, they were able to overcome. But uh, stay green. It is still stay green, and that's what it comes down to. So here we are, game number three. And again, the other thing to note about last game, obviously stay green, they ran the exact same lineup as they did in game number one. Uh, this time around, though, it, it ended up in the uh, in the other result, which is Nolly Sports coming through with the victory. So, uh, so far, once again, however, stay green at least is looking very similar. Now, you do look at the bands, kind of interesting there. Ophelia Warbeast, once again from now, all three games now have been those bands for them. Scout and then Sandwraith, banned by Stay Green. So definitely some respect on the Sandwraith coming out right there. Also, just to, goes back to just being a, a, a very annoying carry to deal against. They ban the Sandwraith instead of the Hag. They've been banning the Hag. They banned the Hag these first two games. So they banned the Sandwraith this time around. Hag is first picked by Denali Sports as a result. You see Keeper of the Forest first picked by Stay Green, however. There's the Tempest response. Engineer then coming out. So again, things looking similar for Stay Green at least. But how about that? Denali Sports switching things up a little bit. And they pick the Flux themselves. So now Stay Green. They're going to have to finish off. With something a little bit different here, something like a Ravener perhaps is on the board, uh, and uh, that would not be out of the question, obviously. So I'm definitely eyeing uh, the Ravener perhaps, and this also could set up for more of a suicide keeper of the forest. Again, they've run the jungle keeper these first two games uh, because of the lineups that they've had, but they actually finished off with the bubbles here. Does stay green, so they want the bubbles pick up, and the bubbles pick they will get. But again, that flux coming out for Denial Esports. Now we'll see how the bands look here between these two teams. Denial, they will still need their go-to support hero as well as, you know, whether or not they want that hag to be short lane, ideally a short lane hero or a suicide hero, depending on what they want to go with here. But going to think about the bands now as far as things move on here into game number three. There you go, Corrupt the Disciple right off the bat. He was ran both games, of course, by Stay Green. Not going to be the same here. How about that Kraken coming out? And it's kind of funny seeing that again. Last game, he got passed up completely by both teams. The first game, he was eventually banned. But uh, the last game, he, he was just not banned or picked. Not often you see a Kraken making it through all the uh, all the stages here in Captain's Pick. But was the case last game? Not going to be the case this game. Again, banned out. Slither taken out by Denial. So, again, another short lane carry presence. Banned out by Denali Esports. Now we'll see if Stay Green decides to go with a uh, or what band they go with here. What are, what are the pings doing? With? Can I even get the pings? Holy crap. Yeah, what is... <laughs> this server does seem like it's a pretty bad server. Yeah, I'm actually getting some lag too. Interesting. Yeah, 300 ping. <laughs> yeah, so they're just going to remake the game here. When... Uh, when this one finishes up, but um, yeah, don't want to. I mean, to be fair, it is all even ping, other than for some reason Z Freak is way up. I guess they're from the states, though, so that matters. So they're still in the states here. Anyways, uh, point being, so it looks like we'll have a remake as we jump into game number two here, or three, game number three, excuse me. But uh, we'll get the drafting stuff, of course, and uh, move on from there. But uh, so the band's now coming out on top of that. Uh, Tundra, Soul Reaper, and then Lodestone to finish off. So Soul Reaper also banned all three games here by Denial. Not giving up that. How about that Tundra respect, though? Coming out from State Green and then Lodestone. Now, Pestilence is left open. That's one that I am, uh, that catches my eye off the bat. Master of Arms. But if they do go the Pestilence, they do go the Master of Arms, so that could set up for the Pestilence, especially now. But uh, it's again, then how do they lane from there? Because that means you would probably end up sending a short lane flux with a suicide hag, if that's the case. Or they could man up dual lane, master pestilence dual lane, and have both a flux and a wretched hag solos in the mid and short. I don't know if they're going to go for that, though. I don't know if they're going to go for that, though. They might just go more of a routine suicide option in the end. Well, we'll Parasite. see. Parasite coming out. How about that? So they got a jungle Parasite. He was left open. I think he's been left open, actually. I'm really thinking. I don't know if he was banned, actually, <laughs> even the first two games. But uh, he is picked up here by Stay Green. So uh, that, that means that is going to be a laning keeper of the forest, more than likely. Already given a limp, in fact. 
as he's the one to play it, of course. So going to see the suicide keeper coming out here. And again, that on top of uh, the jungle parasites. Another so final pick for denial. They are right clicking a dark lady. So that would mean a suicide hag in the end. It, it, it looks like they're looking for more of a carry option here. So not going to be a pestilence. Looking for more of a carry option here. As even Swift Blade showing a little interest, perhaps. Interesting. Interesting. So they got about 20 seconds now before. That's going to be wrapping up and then moving on to the final pick for Stay Green. Using all their time as they should. Making sure that they're confident with their final pickup. Drunken Master coming out, actually. So they do switch it up at the last second. They go Drunken Master. Now, that could very easily be a suicide Drunken Master, of course. But they're, they're bringing back the Drunken to go up against Stay Green right here. Again, this seems like a hero that has a decent success against this team, at least. IG was the first one to run it, one of those two games against him initially, bringing, bringing that back up a couple cycles ago. And Denial also using it early in their series that they took two games to one against Stay Green uh, in the earlier on in this bracket. So picking the here to finish things off. I'll have to wait and see for them to swap things around before we're 100% sure where that may end up. Moon Queen going to be coming out for Stay Green. So they go the Moon Queen here. A fan favorite hero, no doubt. <laughs> they go the Moon Queen, and that's how they're going to be shaping up. So they're going to have the Moon Queen with the babysit engineer. They got Bubbles for mid. They got Keeper for suicide. And then, of course, Parasite going to be in the jungle. So Mickey readying up on the Drunken. So, yeah, very likely going to end up being a suicide Drunken Master. You got your shoreline hag. And then, of course, the Master of Arms Flux to head towards that mid lane, so well, apparently the ping is back to normal, but they might still want to remake just in case, yeah. Clearly that server was having a little bit of a hiccup there, so I'm going to remake here, and then we'll be jumping back into game number three, so uh, rather than rambling on, they might, uh, I don't know if they're going to be doing a full another draft or whatnot, but uh, just stay tuned while this gets figured out here. Well, it should only be about a minute break. I'm going to go on a break right here real quickly, guys. Get some music on once again. But uh, we should be jumping into game number three here. Stay green versus Denali Sports after a quick remake. Going to be coming up very, very shortly, guys. Sit tight. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Alright, welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We got game number three here. Stay Green versus Denali Esports. Alright, as you can see, they remade. Things are going to go... Ooh, is this a new Parasite skin? This is. It's a pretty badass army. It's actually, like, constantly changing. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty sick. Anyways. Yes, I always have the ADD when it comes to new alt avatars. I know. It's just fun to look at. Anywho. Um, okay, so... As you can see, Stay Green, they are setting up the four heroes in their own jungle here. Uh, Wretched Hag playing that suicide option, dropping off a couple of uh, both Ward of Sight and Minor Totem even. At this top side. Pro Busk actually the one going to be playing the Hag here. And uh, wait a second, so what, what is going on? Hold on. Okay, what? Okay, so they're going to... What? Wait, are they going to suicide Hag? So they're going to suicide Hag... Are they going to run a short lane drunken? Is that what's going on here? Is that what we're seeing? That's what it looks like. Going to suicide the Wretched Ag. Short lane drunken master. And that means they'll have uh, the Flux NG. Oh, no, not Flux NG, but Flux Master Vons, excuse me, in the middle lane still, but just different with the short and the suicide lane. So switching that up there. Just figuring Wretched Ag would have the better time even at the top lane and also... Getting more value out of the earlier game farm on Drunken Master, perhaps. A couple of reasons as to as why you would want to do this. So he is going to be mashed up against the Keeper of the Force at the bottom. And actually, Master Farm's even coming to the bottom lane to assist with him. So they are really want to prioritize farm on the Drunken Master down here, it looks like, when it comes down to it. So interesting stuff down here, but... Not drunken, just off the free farm start, but here comes Keeper of the Forest, runs right into Master of Arms immediately, and you see him trying to box him out, but here come the animated trees, and we'll see if support's going to be able to stop these as much as he can, but obviously that can tend to be pretty difficult to do, so he doesn't even care about it. He's going to go for the stack right here, unless Keeper of the Forest will really block it, that'd be funny. No, it gets blocked. I don't know how it got blocked, actually, but the Eye Sugger might have got there just in time, so... Tries to stack it. Can't uh, do that, unfortunately. All sorts of chaos going on in their own jungle right there. But in the end, having some fun. So, middle lane matchup, though. That means Bubble's going to be going 1v1 against the Flex right here. See Bubbles. Shell Surf going on through. And be back and forth matchup here in the middle lane. Flux 5 0. Bubbles 6 2 here currently. And then there's the top lane, Wretched Hag. Oh, taking the double stun there. The Moonbeam with the keg stun. Forced to blink away, of course, but drops half of her life before doing so. Do did have the six tree eaters, has a health potion on top of that, so Probusk is working with a good amount of regen here. Still can be somewhat difficult, though. Bottom lane, Drunken Master. Against the Keeper of the Forest. Again, the lane pull going on, but Drunken still managing very good creep farm. 11 and 3 currently. And he's definitely not too concerned about Keeper scaring him off by any means. So, again, though, top lane. Hag is really being pushed out. Moon Queen's doing a good job of making sure he has the good positioning. Of course, Chessie playing the Moon Queen. Yeah, I assume it's Chessie. Yeah, Chessie playing the Moon Queen here. 290 go from in to start for him. Locking up for a bus. Got double stack jungle camp being pulled here by Engineer. Getting a little lane control back in their favor, at least attempting to do so. Double damage room bottled up on Bubbles currently. See if he can make use of that. And of course, there's the Tempest in the jungle. Where is uh, where is Parasite? Parasite is in his own jungle. He's just farming away at the. Oh wow, the minions even get all metallic. That's trippy. <laughs> so when he uses the infest on the minions, they go all metallic like crazy. Yeah, that's part of the new uh, Clank's hero. By the way, how about that Clank's hero, huh? Seems like a pretty fun hero. Can't wait to see him on the competitive scene. There's still what? Uh, him? You got uh, Cersei, obviously, and then Artillery is still even banned on tournament mode. For some reason, I don't know why Artillery is still banned on tournament mode, personally, but... Um, I wonder if they're going to maybe be eligible here in the near future. Again, we have three more cycles left upon tour, so maybe to finish things off and then going into the global grand finals would be pretty fun to see, but maybe not at the same time. I mean, we do have quite the hero pool already, so it's not like we need more, but who knows? Who knows? 
top lane. Wretched Ag. Oh, he's being chased down. Parasite coming in with the boost blood chalice. If they get him to blink at a bad spot. Pro Boss playing a very smart blink right there. <laughs> Blinks into the jungle, figuring that that's what they wanted. They, or they wanted him to go into the lane. So, plays it smart. He blinks away. He's going to be fine. They chase a little bit, but realize that uh, he went the correct decision there. Bubbles taking a little bit of damage, but the middle matchup, taking a closer look at that. 21 and 4 Swindermelons on Bubbles here. You have a Flensmeister that is 20 and 3 on Flux, so very back and forth there as kind of expected. Haystrom picked up. He might head towards the bottom lane. They could possibly set something up here. Do they have any kind of dust on them? They do have a Red Ward, Rev Ward on Master of Arms. So, he needs to keep it the force in the background. Drunken Master going. Falls to the wall. Flux coming in as well, but they can't find him. He's just running along the tower. They did put the Rev Ward down, but he is out of range. So, Limp playing that very safe right there. It does keep him alive, so. And that means, I mean, Flux spent a good amount of time going for that bottom lane gank. Granted, he did have a haste strand, so he's able to make it back to the mid pretty quickly. And actually, Mickey takes some good damage right there in return, but obviously, it's only a level 4 keep of the forest, so again, not too concerned at the same time. And we can also use that drink if he wants a little bit of boost and regen there. In the meantime, back to the top lane again, Engineer. Continuing to move around, going to put the pressure onto Wretched Hag. Wretched Hag hits level 4. But Hag is going to have to fall back. This is going to get heavily boxed out here. Tempest, look at Zlapped once again. 1,500 gold saved up for Zlapped. He's played Tempest all three games here. And, I mean, really, he's been actually landing some pretty good ultimates throughout this game and just had good times in all three, really. So He's got the Ring of Sorcery finished and Boots on top of that. I believe he got Boots as well. Yeah, Boots as well. And even a Mana Potion. Again, his start actually very good. I mean, 357 gold per minute. That is easily tops in the game here. He's at level 7 mark. Moon Queen also doing a great job, though. Steam Boots finished. 313 GPM for Moon Queen right here. Drunken is even a step up, however. Now, now the last couple times we've seen this from Mickey playing it for Denali Esports, he tends to get very aggressive earlier on here in these games. And so we'll see what kind of uh, pace he goes for this game. I and mean, he's having free farm at the bottom lane. So will they continue to take advantage of that, or will he look to roam around? Flux in the meantime, middle lane. Flux is going to be picked off. Minot's going to quit up for the kill right there on Parasite. And at the top lane. They also managed to take out Wretched Hag. The Moon Finale coming out from Moon Queen. Able to secure a kill up there. So a couple of big kills coming out for State Green. And they have a leak gold lead. Oh, it was leaked for a second. But, uh, yeah, obviously Parasite collapsing on the middle. Kelpio from Bubbles assisting right there. Flux goes down. And then again, the Hag kill. A little bit easier at the top lane. Just enough burst damage. So very weak earlier on. No regen currently on her. Had the boots, but not enough. So, again, going back to Drunken Master, though. <laughs> nice. I love this skin, by the way. The Redneck Drunken Master. Uh, 365 gold per minute. America. He's got the Ghost Marchers first. The Blood Chalice on top of that. They are going to make their way towards the bottom tower. Master of Arms level 4. He's assisting. Keeping the forces nowhere in sight. He does have a, does have a TP, but... It is going to be three players now coming together. Master of Arms, uh, Tempest even joining the party here. So, staying green. Are they going to defend Bubbles? He's using these back at the well right here. Tries to TP. He doesn't have Kelpa, though, and yeah, Tower falls way too quickly. So, now the question is, are they going to keep going? They probably are. Will Stay Green look to invest in stopping it? Well, they won't need to, because actually it looks like, uh, are they gonna, they're going to stick around a little bit. Tempest, not so much. He's actually going to team into the middle lane. They want to push middle now here. Oh, and this could be a good time because Parasite's coming in. He's not going to open just yet, but good thing he waited because here we go. Tempest, they want to jump the bubbles. The flux pulling. They also, they could not see the water. And now the water comes out with Parasite. Here comes Tempest, but the kill for to stall him from getting close enough. So he can't ulti just yet. You see the face hug on a flux. Here comes Kimber the Forest looking to get a rude chance. Cannot get close enough though. Flux will fall, however. The damage too much. Moonbeam on a Tempest. Charge shot on a Moon Queen though. Here comes a launch from Drunken Master. Pushes them back towards his team. But a nice room coming out. Moon Queen will barely survive. Turns around the Moonbeam. And down goes Drunken Master. Down goes Tempest. Beautiful team fight. Great team assistance coming out from State Green. And eight and a half minutes in, all of a sudden a five nothing hero kill lead, three thousand experience lead, and a forty six hundred or three thousand gold lead, and a forty six hundred experience lead there. 
damn, that was perfect timing, though, out of the moon. And I thought Drunken had an easy kill right there. But the root came out exactly when it needed to. And Moon Queen manages to live and is now back at the top lane. Continuing to pick up farm up there. So that's 5 nothing hero kill starting again. Just overall much better start for State Green right now. Very threatening. Wretched Hag playing very safe up here. Continuing to do so. And Moon Queen does have a move finale once again. Granted, she doesn't have mana for it currently. Oh, it's Engineer, though. He's got it around. Ratchet Act just used her blink. It's going to be good enough for only five more seconds. Engineer, will he maybe keg something right here? That would be fun. Not going to happen, though. Just going to soak up experience there, sitting off to the side. So Drunken back towards the bottom lane, though. Continuing to pick up farm. Again, even despite what happened there, Drunken still actually farming pretty well. And it looks like he is going into that early, early uh, Souls Bulwark here. Codex in the works for Parasite. Neophyte's book picked up, but the Ghost Marcher's finished. I'm sure we'll see that come out. Keeper of the Force, bottom lane. Uh-oh, he's in trouble once again. Do they have a pull-in? They do. The Revor put down. He's going to lunge him in towards the Revor. Another Revor put down just in case. And Limp is going to fall. So they invest quite a bit down here. But it is a kill on the Keeper of the Force, and now they're going to open up to push the bottom lane. This should be a tower kill, especially with Keeper dead. I don't think, yeah, no port on Moon Queen or anything like that. So, yeah, this should easily be a tower kill here for our Legion team. Look at Keeper, though. He's pulling the creep wave back with his tree dog. That's brutal. And that actually may be the, oh, that's going to be the difference maker. I mean, with no creep wave, they're not confident taking this tower. That's unfortunate. But that's just also well played by Limp right there. And that is ultimately going to save the secondary tower. <laughs> Very good play. Still have the tree dogs up, and that's just that's just good presence of mind right there, you know, playing after death on certain heroes like Keeper. Just because your hero dies doesn't mean you still can't be useful in that in here like that, so. You see the creeper coming back up now, but it is just Drunken Master now, and yeah, Keeper is here at this time, so. He will be able to hold it off. In the meantime, top lane again, Hag kind of being collapsed on here. Moon Queen, or Parasite even coming in with the Invis Blinks. Into the trees, though. And unless Parasite gets some tree-clearing ability all of a sudden, probably not going to find him. They know she's up here somewhere, but Hack's playing very, very safe. And it's causing Parasite to get frustrated, I'm sure. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Except he's saying it in Swedish. Moon Queen Flux. Oh wow, middle lane, <laughs> why did I say Moon Queen? Middle lane flux, 260 gold for mid a year. Bubbles L357, obviously much better time for him so far. Speaking of that, Swinomel's 1800 gold saved up, so portal key. Well in the works, Whispering Helm on Moon Queen. So has her nice item choice off the bat. Drunken has enough for that Soul's Bulwark now, hasn't bought it just yet. He's actually wants to find an opportunity right here. Maybe no, he's gonna wrap around. Yeah, there's the Souls Bulwark purchase. He is level nine. This is a fairly squishy team outside of the keeper here on the Hellborn side, so earlier on. Whispering Elm also extra good though against this in this case, especially going up against a very physical heavy drunken master. Obviously the plus five armor it provides. Very beneficial. See Hag again just still leeching, trying to, I mean she's still level six, so it's been it's been tough, but uh, just starting to get as much experience, but hey, he's not dying. He died the first time initially, but he hasn't died since then, so we talk about that all the time in cases where like he's at where just simply don't die. And you're doing your job. Bubbles trying to distract the stack and I think he might have, yep. They actually fall back before the plan there. And he prevents a triple stack from happening. Drunken Master, though, just continuing to push out the bottom lane in the meantime. Master of Arms does have his boots here. Keeper of the Force sitting on top of Tempest, and Engineer's running in. They're going to find him. Rue comes out. There's a Kex. That easy kill on the slap. That's a big kill, too, because, again, he's had a very solid game here so far, so slowing him down. A little bit's always good. What did Flux just finish? I guess the power supply, maybe the Steam Bits, actually. 
But Flux has a little, a little bit of build up here, pushing the middle tower now. Again, Hag just sitting in the trees. Poor coming to the top lane, and actually, they're going to collapse on a Moonkun right here. Bathless in the background, Trucker Master running in. He has his ultimate up with the Unstoppable, putting in the auto attacks. That move finale is coming out. Not going to be enough for any kills, though. Drunken gets credit right there. Beautiful setup coming out from Denial. I mean, Pro Busk, talk about patience, man. He was up here this whole time, sitting in the trees, just leeching experience, and eventually gets the opportunity to assist in a big gank on a Moon Queen. So with Moon Queen dead, you actually see Tempest porting in, and actually all five are going to be up here for Denial. So they're just going to end up pushing this top lane now. Making a statement here. Codex is finished, by the way, on Parasite. As, uh, he also has a Ghost Muncher still on top of that. Finds a couple of heroes. He's going to open. He is. He's going to go on a drunk in the burst damage too much. You see the Demon's Master's call a little too late, though. Can't blame him. I mean, that just happened very quickly. So, good find coming out from Parasite. That's a free pick onto the Drunken Master. So, at least he does get a little bit of revenge for his fallen teammate right there. Middle lane, so look at Flux, he actually gets collapsed on. Parasite then roams middle and ends up assisting with the kill right there. So one of them credit. But now this is going to be a tower kill on top of that, of course. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion Tower. Now bottom tower also falling there. The Legion the Hellborn's have destroyed But there's a top tower, so... Denial after... <laughs> so all three towers going down. Two of them in favor of uh, Stay Green, of course. The one coming out for Denial Esports. Looks like maybe a little bit of a hiccup there with the lag. So a Drunken Master that got the kill. He died shortly after, though. So, again, his GPM is still fairly high. 380 gold per minute. He's got the Soul's Bulwark. Ghost Marcher's on top. We'll see where he goes next with this, uh, with this build of his. Tempest finishing the Steam Boots, 1,100 gold saved up on him. Wretched Hag obviously hasn't been able to get much of a farm game going, only 165 GPM, so the Light Brand still well off, if that's even what he determines to go for here. 260 GPM on Flux, so Flensmeister obviously being dead right now, hurting. And then you got the Hellborn side, what are we looking at over here? Quick Blade finished on Moon Queen, or picked up even. <laughs> So Firebrand getting me in the works there. Portal Key already on Bubbles, and he has another 1950 gold saved up. 1600 gold on Keeper. See if that Portal Key is going to be coming out. Or the Astral Leap even. And then there's Engineer, Steam Boots, Man and Battery. He's got Portal Key. The first two games has Z Freak on Engineer. We'll see if he gets it for a third game here. This game, you know, gets a little bit later on. Very possible. It's right, about looks like damn we're good. Time. Exactly. Exactly, Mr. Samuel Jackson. Uh oh, bottom lane. Vagabond leader coming in. Parasite. It's Parasite Engineer and Keeper of the Forest. You see Hag, she's in a lot of trouble down here. They're going to jump her any second. Parasite just waiting for the right moment. He's coming around. Oh, Wretched Axe, she's falling back. Will she fall back enough? No, she just got her item. There's the facehawk jump. The keg's on the hits, and it is going to be enough for the kill. That keg stun almost made it awkward, actually. <laughs> she was nearly able to have enough time to blink away there as a result, but push. Uh, it does set up the kill in the end. They do clean up some triple stack ancients uh, in the end, and uh, maybe some double stack, but still. Clean up some ancients there in the end. Drunken Master gets the majority of them, it looks like. He's got the Mighty Blade now. Slash Drunken Hag going to be coming up next in line for him. But again, Hag's continuing to have her struggles here this game. Moon Queen not struggling as much. 380 gold per minute, and he's only third on his team here at GPM. Now we see Parasite and the Bubbles on top. Parasite even though 400 gold per minute, in fact. Has that been leveled up? I assume that Codex maybe has even been leveled up. Let's wait and see. It's outside of the Vagabond leader, unfortunately, as it doesn't tell us there. Oh, they're going to collapse on middle, actually. Drunken Master. He's a little bit tankier now. Is he tanky enough, though? He doesn't have any missing investments. Deep of the Master's call. It's stolen, though, by Parasite. And he gets the easy kill. It is a level 2 Codex. Energy fill put down. Tempest. He tries to ultimate. Canceled immediately, though. The Poland right there. Not nearly enough. Flux in trouble. In fact, the Poland might have screwed them right there. He would have been a lot better off pushing them away, honestly. 
And I wonder if that was meant to be, but he pulls them in. They end up all falling. Four for nothing exchange. So it was initially just being a set-off game on a drunken master. Ends up being a four for nothing kill exchange for Stay Green right there. And there you go. GG well played. Throw to being called. That's going to do it. Game number three goes to Stay Green. And they will once again rematch Lion Esports Club in the grand finals here of cycle number seven. So, man, I mean, to end like that all of a sudden, but uh, that's how it will end. The team fight of State Green right there, just too much. Denali Esports, they went the Drunken Master. Mickey had a good starting. He, he set up some good kills. His farm was just even good up until the end there, but... A couple of the deaths that he had, he, he was trying to snowball with that was not really able to really get that momentum going. And then, of course, again, the top lane for Busk had nothing going on the hack for pretty much most of it. Uh, you saw the game. I mean, game number three, though, goes to State Green, deservingly so. And, again, they match up against Lion Esports Club in the grand final. So, uh, it really, though, it, like, <laughs> it's this is it yet again. But it doesn't get much better than this, really. These two teams, obviously, very... Uh, very good at this point, expected to be here even, and for good reason they are here once again. Going to be matching up in the grand finals, Lions versus State Green. Of course, Lions, they will be coming in, up one game to nothing, coming from the winter bracket finals. And so, you know, you look back at last cycle, of course, uh, Lions, they did not drop a game in cycle six, and that included taking out State Green twice, actually, both in the winter bracket finals and then again in the grand finals. As they finished that series pretty quickly, actually. They ended up winning at 3-0. Uh, so they're coming off of that high. But uh, State Green at the same time, they have come from the loosest bracket before and have come back against Lion Esports Club, even after being down 0-2, of course, in that memorable cycle. I believe that was cycle like 4, even, that we had. So uh, with that said, that is obviously going to be happening. At this point, the schedule is set to take place in about 30 to 40 minutes here. On Honcast, so uh, obviously going to wait a little bit. Going to be taking a short break right here. But uh, the grand finals of Lion Esports Club and Stay Green is going to be coming up in about, again, 30 to 40 minutes is at least when the lobby is going to be up and good to go. So obviously a great grand finals there. And again, both of those teams, arguably the two favorite teams going into the DreamHack Winter event. Uh, you could even say it could be a preview of the possible DreamHack grand finals. I, th I still think even that is a little bit of a push because, again, just to the overall competition level that we are expecting to see there at the event. I don't know if you can safely say that, but still, it's it, it, it very, very possibly could be. Again, this will now be the fifth cycle in a row that these two teams have met up in the grand finals. And, uh, well, with that said, too, I mean, they're 2-2 two and two against one another in the grand finals. So which team is going to get that advantage here now? When it's all said and done. Anyways, enough of all of that. We got that match. It's going to be coming up in a little bit. So, obviously, we'll get the stream on here, get some music going, uh, maybe some videos popping up. But the grand finals, get some information for you if anything changes. Should be happening, though. Line Esports Club versus Stay Green. As set for 1800 Central Year, or 1800 East. Wow, not, not that. <laughs> I'm all over the place. 3 p.m. Eastern, 2100 Central European Time.